Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi hey everyone. Here is another important and very common uh, topics, uh, hands-on experience. First of all, look at this uh, clips, uh, two clips, zoom and zoom in, zoom out, and next slide on apical four chamber. And Doppler here at this level, exactly cursor has been passed through this level. You can see here. Attention to that, and then uh, I'm going to ask uh, many important questions. Here, apical four chambers. As you can see, we put color and septum, then we put cursor exactly at this level here. At this level, go pass through. Can you explain those Doppler and uh, watch for yourself and see if there's any finding for your uh, logic explanation? Now answer to uh, these questions. First of all, is there any PF or ASD based on all those clips and Dopplers? Second, is it important to differentiate uh, PFO and AST from each other? Uh, I mean, from clinical aspect, does it is it important we uh, differentiated or not? And the third one, in this case, does bubble test or bubble study or agitated saline can help us to detect uh, AST or PFO? And how? Let's go to the next slide and I show you more. Here we do bubble uh, test or study, as you can see here. We don't have a shunt right to left because there is not any bubble show up in the left side. So we don't have a right to left shunt. But what about left to right shunt? Uh, AST, PFO, because it can be even though most of the time is left to right, but in a different situation, it can be sometime bidirectional uh, and uh, as you know, that is the reason we do bubble test in those uh, situation. Now, since we don't have a right to left shunt, how you can say in this bubble study that we have or we don't have uh, AST or PFO doesn't matter any of them. How you can uh, almost with 100 person you say no, there is not uh, AST or PFO. Now let's go see the answer and explanation.